when you're dealing with real life, it's always pretty difficult anyway. You know, at, to what extent do you sacrifice um, reality for dramatic reality? So that, that's always a bit of an issue. I loved the idea of the, the parallel of this relationship with the making of, the, of, of Psycho and, and the bringing of those sort of themes together with this extraordinary, iconic, fascinating, complicated man, Alfred Hitchcock. The film buffs know the contribution that Alma made to Hitchcock's movies, how incredibly um, important she was in the creation of his masterworks. Um, and, uh, you know, and I just wanted, I want to present on the screen someone that, you, A, that you would believe that she has these abilities um, and, uh, and, and for the general public to recognise that. You know, Hitchcock is such an iconic, incredibly famous auteur, filmmaker. And um, there was this woman working alongside of him every step of the way from script through casting through not through the shooting process but through the editing process and and as we all know um you know for hitchcock the editing was everything the shooting he could couldn't really care less about because he had it already edited in his head it was just a question of getting the story told through the images um, and, uh, you know, Alma was so important to those is essential steps in the creation of a Hitchcock film. So, uh, you know, I would love from, that, from this point on, you know, history to recognise that. You know, I couldn't find any film on Alma. I would have loved to have seen some film. I don't know what she sounded like. I don't know what she walked like. I don't know how she used her hands. You know, there was an awful lot of research that I couldn't do. I, I saw photo, I looked at photographs and that was all and, and trying to get an understanding. But, um, you know, Alma, of course, the people who knew her knew her, but the general public didn't know, you know, as she says in the, in the film, I was, you know, elbowed aside as people trying to get to the great and glorious uh, Alfred Hitchcock. Um, uh, and I, I know what that feels like. That happened to me with my husband when I first came here. So, um, uh, you know, I, I have a freedom, really, with Alma to, to be, I make her really whoever. And I, I'm not attempting any kind of a impersonation at all. Well, we're not really facing each other. I mean, we are, but I'm facing Hitchcock and... Hitchcock is facing Alma, you know, um, and particularly in this kind of a film um, where we are both, especially um, Tony, um, but uh, me too, we are playing very specific characters. You know, Tony obviously is, is uh, transformed in the way he looks. Um, so it's more, I. You know, it's very difficult for me to believe that it isn't Alfred Hitchcock sitting there, honestly. Although Tony's not the sort of actor who carries his character with him, you know, all, all day on the set. You know, he is becomes Hitchcock brilliantly and then, you know, by craft services or at lunchtime, it's Tony.